Welcome back to The Daily Grind, everyone. So today, we're gonna to be planting these lemon trees here in the ground. These are Meyer lemons, and unfortunately, there's no leaves on them because we had a major frost and it almost killed them, but they're not dead. And I'm noticing some new growth coming off of it, so I know that they're not dead. So we're gonna get them in the ground. It is pretty close to spring now. Granted, it's possible to have a frost in the next little bit, but it's not gonna be a very heavy frost if we do. Late February is pretty much done in Texas. Our last frost date is March, uh, mid-March, so it's not, it's like three weeks away. I feel pretty safe at putting those in the ground because I can always cover them if it does get too cold. Myers can handle light frost, and we do get light frost here. This isn't Florida, so we do get some light frost. In the summer, it's ridiculously hot, but we do get light frost. Where I'm gonna plant is actually right here. So I figure this is a good spot. It's gonna kind of protect, because this is south facing side of my house. So this is gonna protect wind coming in. So it'll help with the frosts. Um, also, I can kind of cover by putting, you know, covering up over my balcony here and be able to cover it a little easier, if that makes sense. So that's what I'm doing. That's where I'm planting it. Let's get to it. This bag of dirt sat here so long. There are more spiders and bugs and junk under here than I've ever seen. Look at all these cool rolly, that's a, what is that? Is that a cockroach? Oh yeah, that's a cockroach. That's interesting. Feed that to the birds. They'll like that. Over here, guys. You missed it. Right here. Hey. Right there. Look. Look. Oh, you're so dumb. All right, let's see if I can pull this up. Now, this weed barrier stuff that I got is really good. I mean, it's surprising. Through our summer, it didn't get fragile. I mean, stuff's amazing. We get some brutal summers here in Texas, so this would be a good timing to bring the chickens over. I had a chicken tractor. They'd eat all these bugs and all right, let's pull all this up. I might be able to reuse this. Really good. Still. I'll bring my weed eater in at one point and kind of clean all this up. Well, let's go ahead and start figuring out where we're gonna put it. I'm gonna get a measuring tape. So I'm gonna want these 30 inches, which is right there, away from my deck here. So that's gonna be right in the center of this, okay? That will give them enough room to grow and I'm gonna keep them trimmed so this backside is not gonna grow into my deck and I'll be trimming them every single year uh, so I, I really don't foresee that being an issue and then I can let them grow out further this direction and side to side and that being said we want to give them enough space to really grow there is six foot if I put one right here maybe I'll come in a little bit I can put another one right here let's go ahead and start digging this hole <laughs> Can't even put that in the ground to hold it up. I mean, it's just our soil is pretty bad. Nope. I'll just lay it down. All right. I'm going to start with this tool. So this thing kind of has little prongs on it, scratches up the surface here. And like I said, right about there, and we'll dig this hole. And then, of course, we can come back through. Now, this is not going to be too bad digging because this has had weed barrier on it which has caught, kept this pretty moist, actually, this soil. So it's gonna be easier to, to dig. Now, there are rocks still, tons. But we'll do this. We can get some of that dirt out. I'm gonna bring a tarp over. Make sure I put this dirt on the tarp so it's easier to put the dirt back in the hole. I've got the tarp laid out. I got a rock at each corner and make sure this doesn't blow away in case the wind picks up. 
start getting some of this dirt out. I don't know, I read somewhere that digging a semi-square hole will help keep the plants from being root bound. Some people say that's absolutely not true. Others say, yes, that is true. So you wanna, if you do a round hole, they can kind of wrap themselves up around there. So, I don't know. I'd rather just do a square hole in case it is true. I got about eight inches down. There's all the dirt. And I need to get much further than that. Now, I've got this big root right here that I'm going to have to dig out with a smaller shovel and kind of get that uh, exposed a little better. And then I can take my axe and cut it on either side. But we're almost to the top of this shovel. So, yeah, it's about a foot. So, yeah, I got about a foot down. You know, it started off very cold today. It was like 44 degrees when I got out here initially. And now it's 75 and it's going to reach 79 by the end of the day. So it is quite warm. I'll finish this probably tomorrow. I've got to get this stump out, be able to finish digging this. I've got this ax, so see if I can get this to work. There we go. I kind of made short work of it, actually. All right, let's dig the rest out. I've been just kind of scratching it up with this. It kind of allows me to get in a little easier. I just twist in. Kind of breaks up those rocks a little better. Now, there's other better tools than this, I think, like... For this kind of soil, we've got these like rebarb things or even like a pickaxe. Probably be a little better, but I don't have that. So, got to use what you got. And it's working. Sort of. All right, guys, I put that in there to see and I'm looking at it and this is definitely deep enough for this to fit in there the problem is i want to make sure that there's enough room below where it's not real hard so the roots can get deeper but i think i'm just going to scratch up the bottom quite a bit with that little tiller not even scoop it out and i should be good i can just set this right on top to be about the right height to be able to plant and i can get this planted i might do one more scoop actually and then scratch it up get just slightly deeper but we're almost there now it's time to get it out of this which might be a job so when i first did this i didn't think about it the roots have possibility of growing into these cloth bags now it has only been a year it's not multiple years so maybe they didn't that might make this really difficult i might have to cut this bag out which would be really obnoxious so let's see I don't want to damage this by, yeah, you don't want to lift that way. It's got a lot of weight. So unfortunately, that means I can't reuse this bag, but these aren't that expensive. And I learned something, so. Right there is 30 inch. We're forward a little bit, so I'm going to go back. That is exactly... 30 inch. Let's fill back in. I'm just doing some light pressing. Of course, I'm not like stomping on this real hard, but I want to kind of get that soil compacted a little bit. Whenever you plant, there's always a little bit of drop, and this will help kind of show you where that's going to be. So you can add more dirt on top where it is. And also that brings that soil together. So that way there's no air pockets for those roots to not be able to grow out into. Now I'm gonna water and then I'm gonna mulch. Now one thing I didn't even think about 
after I planted this <laughs> is right there will be dripping probably right about there. So hopefully that is plenty of drainage for these and they won't get drowned. I can't remember if I, if it's okay to put the mulch up against the tree trunk there. Probably need a little bit to cover those roots, but I just, I really cannot remember that. If mulch is okay, but not dirt, I just don't want it to rot, obviously. I do have some new growth coming out of the trunk there, which I might actually have to keep because this is a lemon tree. It's supposed to have leaves. They're year-round leaves, but it died back in the, the winter and lost all the leaves. I'm still seeing some living growth, so I'm hoping that this will make it, but, and also planting in the earth might help. This is planted. This is all I'm gonna do today. Tomorrow I'm gonna come through and then plant the other lemon tree right here. See you guys tomorrow. All right guys, so I'm starting on this second hole here. This has gotten really hard and there's more rocks in this one than there was in that hole. Um, just, they're everywhere. I mean, you can see them all throughout. Just, I keep hitting rock after rock after rock. Um, I've pulled out so many. All these here, all those there. Out of a small little hole, it's maybe six inches, eight inches deep so far. I gotta go double that, maybe more if possible. I need to wet this because I'm just not able to get in. Um, the ground is a little too hard right now. So if I really soak this with water, that'll kind of help those rocks move out of the way tomorrow. I won't be able to do it today. This is kind of the end of today. Really soak this. I mean, I got to put a couple gallons of water in here, if not at more than that, maybe 10 or 15 or 20 gallons. I'm just going to stand here and hold it over. It might even fill this up because again, I've got clay. So the amount of draining isn't incredible here. All right, well, we got a little pond here. Hopefully that drains before tomorrow, and then it'll be a lot easier to get this out. Now, if this is really wet and kind of caking onto the shovels and stuff, I might have to wait an additional day. So I dug up an ant hill, basically. I didn't even know it was there. I didn't see it, but when I started digging, I noticed a bunch of ants on the dirt. Uh, these are fire ants, we get them, but when I filled this up, you can see them all kind of right on the surface here, trying to, I mean, they're, they're floating and they're kind of clumped together, riding each other, basically. Back at it, it's a little later in the afternoon. That sun is behind my big tree there. So not gonna be as hot. And oh yeah, this is much looser. In fact, I don't even have to step on this. I've got a receipt there somehow. So if I step on it, oh, it goes, yeah, nice. So there's a few rocks here on the surface, but those are moving out of the way a little easier. Sure helped to fill this with water. Now, that ant hill, I don't think has moved. I mean, those ants didn't fully die, they didn't drown or anything. So I gotta be careful. I don't really feel like getting bit up. I am slightly allergic to them. We are about one foot down. This took me another about 45 minutes. Here's all the dirt. Those are all the rocks. Like I said, there's almost as many rocks as there is dirt. So that's uh, a lot of rock, but and there's still some in there, but I just broke up the bottom here, the surface. It's about a foot down. Let's go ahead and drag this in. It does look like it's gonna be a little high. I've got this uh, fertilizer that I'm just gonna sprinkle a bunch in, kind of start it at the bottom we'll give some more at the top as well and then bone meal so that's some organic stuff so i'm gonna break apart the side a little bit get those roots exposed to the new dirt so there's that and it's right at 30 inches so that's good all right let's see how far from the other one wanted at 60 it's just an inch over it's 61 inch that's perfect that's fine i can deal with that well i need a little bit more dirt We'll see how this one makes it. This one is a little smaller than that one, and this one has more dead branches. So we'll see, I'm not sure what's gonna happen. Cause this whole branch looks dead. This whole branch looks dead. Ow. This whole branch looks dead. This one is dying all the way down to like here. That one looks dead. This one's starting to die. 
This one looks dead, that one's dead. In fact, all the main branches are dead, so this might live, this might live, and that might live. And then you can see all this branching off the bottom. So that's gonna be the new main branches. I'm probably not gonna get anything for fruit-wise this year because of that frost killed these back. The same thing here. Now, this looks alive still. This one looks alive. This one kind of looks alive. All these look actually alive. This whole section here looks like it's dying. So I'll probably have to prune right there because I lost all that. This looks dead. This might make it and that part there will make it looks like so and then that other branch will and i've got far less new growth coming out of the this this area um the trunk so i'm guessing that means that it knows that there's more living spots we'll just give a little bit more fertilizer now you know what's funny is i didn't do it on the other one i kind of forgot so we'll see maybe this one ends up growing faster and healthier. There we go. Now, what I failed to do on that one, I didn't have enough rocks. This one has a lot more rocks. I wanna build a border around this with rock. It makes it look nicer and it's gonna help keep that mulch in. So I'm going to have to pull that mulch off and then add this rock. So yeah, that's about the right size. I thought about it. I was going to open another bag and put mulch there, but I still got to put the rocks around this one. So I'm going to just take the mulch off of this one, put it in there. Would have been easier to do it right the first time, but oh well. There we go. Both are planted. I'm, I'm not going to do this today. I'm going to pull that, that uh, mulch out later, another day. I'm just kind of done for the day. That'll be tomorrow. You guys will see in future videos what that'll look like. I'm sure I'll bring you guys back and show you the, the growth of these plants, see if they made it or not. Thanks for watching, everyone. If you guys like this kind of content, please subscribe and hit that bell notification for future video updates. Also, if you could hit the like button, it would really help me and the channel out. And I will see you on the next video. Now you guys try to escape the daily grind.